Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best ways to make coins in FIFA 22 right now. But if we do jump into it, if you're only around, be sure to subscribe to the channel, notifications, don't miss any more videos on the channel. I'm on the road to 1k, and if you can have a set, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts on these methods in the comments below, but I'm going to jump straight into it. So one of the best sniping filters I do have right now, guys, is the Man United Gold Rare... Uh, English defenders because you've got both Harry Maguire and um, Luke Shaw that will come up a lot of the time. Um, as you can see, they're sat at like 2.2k with both of them being 84 rated as well. Um, they're pretty easy to pick up, I'm not going to lie. To at 2.2k, um, again, I'm recording this in the middle of the day. It's difficult to pick up results, but 2.2k, you want to start picking them up for like 1.8. Anything under 1.8, you guys will be absolutely laughing. You're going to make a nice amount of profit on any of the cards that you do manage to pick up. I'll have a little go, see if we can't pick anything up. If I do, obviously, I'll show you, and if not, then I'll just cut to the next, the next filter. But with this one, obviously, there you go. You got one for 1.2k there. List him up for 2.1k. There you go. Great example of getting him for literally uh, a nice amount of money. Getting a nice bit of profit on him. It's about 900 coins after tax on that one, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, that works really well because obviously if you just leave it on stat, normal Man United defenders, you've got Eric Bay, you've got Tellez, you've got these other players that do pop up. And in terms of English, I believe it is just... Oh, you've got Wan Bissaka as well who might pop up. Who, If you do it, you end up getting very cheap as well. Um, but obviously, you've got the three of them that will pop up, which is nice. You've got a nice selection, a nice amount of cards that have the um, like chance of coming up. As you saw there, great example of how well it works. I've done it for literally about four searches. Picked up a Harry Maguire. As you can see, he's already sold as well, wherever he is. There we go. He's already sold as well. So just shows you how good it is. People do obviously want to buy the cards at 84 rated. They're going to pop up a lot of the time, especially when there's promo packs in store. Um, but I'm going to get into the next filter right now. Okay, guys, so to start off a new filter, I've just picked up um, this Ste Stephens here, Stevens, whatever you want to call him. Um, basically, this is just English, or no, it's just um, silver Premier League players that are rare. I do rare because it's just a, there's a little bit more of price in them and they don't pop up as often as some of the others. But as you can see there, um, again, another one I'm going to pick up. Okay, I'm not going to get that one. But if you can pick them up for 800 and flip them for 900, then it's already a nice amount of 100 coin profit. You can pick some of these up literally, as you can see, his minimum right now, his start price is 300. People will list these cards for 350 and you automatically are making like 600 coins on a card just straight away, which is, is good, especially if some of you guys have got like a lower amount of coins. You've not got loads and loads of coins that you can go and spend money, uh, spend your coin. Like you can't go and pick up loads of players because you haven't got many coins. But this is a great method to start picking up some coins very, very cheaply. Um, again, there's one for 800. I didn't get that one, but... This is something you can do with a lot of the leagues as well. Like, if you have a look at, like, Elite League and uh, the Bundesliga, Serie A, just start to work out what their prices are. Some, some days, are gonna be, some leagues are going to be more expensive than others. Uh, it depends if there's objectives out. Um, it depends if what the, the new informed player is as well. Because, basically, people are putting silver teams together all the time because of the Silver Stars SBC. Everyone wants to go and get the silver inform that's there. So, some of these leagues in some days will be more expensive than others. Obviously, as you can see today, the Premier League is one of the best ones to do. Um, they're still set at about 950. And as you can see, all the other ones for 950 have gone as well. So, you could probably even get 950, maybe even 1,000 for them if you do leave it long enough. But, as you can see, there's so many that are going to pop up. Silver players, obviously, are being opened up all the time as well. Um, so, it's just a great way for some of you guys that have got less coins, like more like 5, 6k coins. You can go and do this method, pick a load of these up, and start flipping them as well. But as you can see, all the ones for 950 are also selling now as well, which uh, which is obviously very good. Also, their positions will make a difference. As you can see, you've got left back here. Um, left backs might go for a bit more than like right mids or right backs or whatever because of because their position's not as saturated in the silver area as some of the others. So if you guys can get a good understanding of what sells for what and just like have a... If you guys have got two accounts, you can have one open on the web app and one open on the console. You guys can start making serious coins, especially with silvers. Because, uh, like I say, you could pick some of these up and you go, oh, actually, like, let me have a look at some of the positions, for example. So, someone like a, a, a striker, there might be them, like a centre mid, right? I've just gone into midfielder and, as you can see, there were CDMs out there for, like, 1,000. Um, if we have a look at, C at centre mid, so centre mids are going for more, like, 1.2k. And, again, if you can pick one of these up for, like, four, five, six hundred coins, you're going to easily double your money, which it just, it just depends what ones you end up picking up. I just usually sit it on, like, the lowest price and just, uh... Just do the compare price method and see what I can pick up in any position. I'll try and make 100 coins on some cards, double my coins on other cards, and just see how we do get on. But there you go. The silver player that I did buy has already sold as well. So people are obviously trying to do this. They want to get the silver objectives completed. So the silver method is a definitely a great way of doing it. And like I said, you can do it with non-rares. You can do it with rares. Try all the different leagues. Just try all these different things. A lot. Like, you might even find that Brazilians go for something because usually, like, people like to make Brazil Brazilian teams. Uh, they actually don't go for anything, but... Like I'm saying, you can just try different nations, different leagues for a lot of these and just see 
on, on different days what's going for what. Because a lot of times I upload these videos and I'll get a comment the day after saying, this doesn't work anymore. Guys, if, the, if this certain player that I'm looking at doesn't work anymore, apply the same sort of filters or the same uh, technique to, to something different. Like I say, instead of doing Premier League silvers, go to like Portuguese silver res. What are they going for? 600 coins, right? So that's not as efficient. Okay, so what about if I went to Italian silvers? How much do they go for? Again, not crazy amounts. What about English silvers because they tie in with the Premier League? Again, nothing, nothing crazy, but... Like I say, on different days and different times, these different leagues, like you might find someone like the Chinese league, they've got a lot of silvers, um, they've got quite a lot of pace in them. So you might find that a lot of the Chinese play league players go for something on a certain day. Just if the, the filters, like today, obviously what I'm saying is do Premier League um, rare silvers. And if you go to do it and it doesn't work, just find a different league, find a different nation, find something else that works by applying the same sort of filters. Because if this filter works somewhere, it's going to work somewhere else as well. So that's the way you got to look at it and the way you got to deal with it. But as you can see, these cards are already up to a thousand coins now. Um, they're, yeah, they're already up at a thousand coins. And he goes one for nine hundred there. But it should, it should, silver's, silver's, silver trading is very underrated. Not a lot of people trade with silvers because they don't think there's money to be made in it. But as you can see, a lot of these silver players are just getting bought up, uh, just getting bought up literally as soon as they're on the market for like 900 coins, 500 coins. So if you're quick and you can get them on, again, you don't have to do it on a buy now. You don't have to snipe them. You can go and bid on them. Bidding on them is a great way of making coins as well. Um, a lot of people do underestimate how much you can bid on players and, and actually pick them up as well. Like here, I wouldn't stick at anything more than 800 on them. But as you can see, someone has gone through and chucked 800 bids on as many of them as they can. And uh, they're going to make a nice amount of coins if they do pick them up because they'll flip them for at least at least a thousand coins at a minute, um, depending on what their position is, depending on how much they go for. Like for example, here I'd stick a bid on that, see if I can pick them up for seven hundred coins. Just go through, see what I can pick up, and then again go back to the buy and now trying to do it that way. But if this video has helped you out, if it has, be sure to smash big thumbs up. If you have enjoyed it, smash big thumbs up as well. Let me know your thoughts on this method in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, notifications so I make sure you can do that. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.